Hi guys, welcome back to the Bristol Prepper channel. So today guys, um, we're doing another update on Bear, you know, and a little bit of um, a discussion between you guys. Um, so, yes, yeah, Bear, I think he's got loads bigger since you last seen him. I think, anyway, I think he looks loads bigger. <laughs> um, but no, he, he's still doing very well. Um, so exceptionally well behaved, you know, considering he's still a pup. But he's got a quick, chilled out nature, you know, and I think that's... Uh, What's kind of helped him with all his uh, training and that, you know, how chilled out and how calm he is, like naturally. He's got no problem with being on his own or anything like that. Well, you don't leave him on his own, he's always with Boise, but do you know what I mean? He's got no problem. Uh, he's not very needy, so if we're all sat in here, he can go sit in the kitchen or in another room and just lie down. He's not really needy, which is a good thing, you know. Um, we don't leave him very long anyway, you know, during the day, and he's always with Boise anyway. So he's always got some sort of company. Yeah, look at him. Say hello, Bear. He's doing very well, aren't you? Lovely dog. Absolutely. I would recommend the Labrador to anybody who's looking for you know, a larger dog. You know, she obviously got to be able to accommodate and be ready for the size. Not any fault of the ring, they're just when they're getting growing, they're just a little bit clumsy, you know, but that's comes with the territory, you know, of having a bigger dog. They're a little bit clumsy, but nothing that's un like un like what's wrong, undoable, you know, you, you, you're still are able to do it, you're still are able to have them, it's not a problem. But yeah, so yeah, the point of this video, so I've told you a little bit about Barry, you know, he's doing very well, and nothing really to update you guys on massively, you know, he's just getting bigger, that's really it. But um, yeah, so what we're going to talk about today, I want to know your pet stories. So please guys, let me, I know it's not a lot, a lot to do with prepping or bushcraft, but um, hopefully you'll enjoy it anyway. Please, I really want to know guys, and obviously it'd be nice for everybody else to see, um, down below from the description and in uh, the description in the comments, please let me know your pet stories. So if you've had any, had any really good pet stories, you know, really easy to train, really easy to look after, a bit like Bear, try to bite me now, but yeah, a bit like Bear, or if you've had any horror stories, I mean pet horror stories, you know, maybe you've got a dog and it was just a nightmare, and chewed everything, you know, let me know down in the comments and tell me how you overcame that, you know, or how you changed or how you went about things. Please let me know down in the comments, I'd love to know guys, love to know your stories and that's what um it's great as well because it can help other people out if they've got similar pets uh, don't ask me dog can be anything cat durable i don't know any pet you have just let us know let me know what um what your story is uh upon your pet um and it, like i said it's good for other people because they can um, maybe take something away from your comment um about how you overcame it or how you make things better somebody else might be taking something from, from that you know and i'm um obviously i might learn a bit uh from you guys is, comments and your thoughts and how you did things um you know everybody can always learn that's great but no, he's getting on very well um i've got or ordered his back it's a rucksack for his back you know i haven't ordered that yet i keep forgetting but yeah i have got to remind myself to order that i do really want one you know like a um a bag that goes over the back of him and you put like stuff in there it just helps as well walks because you don't have to walk him as far to tire them out because obviously they're carrying that weight um no dangerous weight and they're not like ridiculously heavy just a little bit of extra weight, a couple of bottles of water or something, small bottles, just gives them that extra bit of weight so it tires them out a little bit faster. Um, do you know, because the Labrador's got so much energy. Um, yeah, so like I said, let me, down, let me know your horror stories or great stories down beneath on your pets uh, and let me know how you got on, how you overcame it, like I said. Um, that's it really for today, guys. Only a short video today, I know, but I just wanted to get that out there and see what your guys' stories are. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy your Friday night. Please enjoy it um, or your Friday daytime wherever you are in the world. Um, but yeah, uh, if you've got five minutes and want to spare them with me, guys, please go in the description, check out my link for Facebook and Twitter, um, go on those pages, like me, follow me, and all that good stuff, if you want to see extra pictures and get in the, get in with the Bristol Prepper channel, um, and if you're not already, guys, please subscribe to the channel, and please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff, please do that, guys, if you haven't already, um, but like I said, that's all we've got time for today, guys, so as always, stay prepared, and I'll catch you guys another day, another way.